From the fo first COVID-19 vaccines being administered to the February freeze here in Texas to Fiesta making a return and UTSA's historic season. A lot has happened here in 2021, though this year seemed to race by pretty quickly. It was filled with a lot of ups and downs for not only South Texas, but the entire nation. Here's a quick look back at what we've been through over the past 12 months. Procedure and decorum in Congress shatter today when a peaceful protest turned into a siege. Let's have trial by combat. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. This way. Ah! Yeah! The Capitol went into lockdown with members of Congress inside. A universal city man facing charges in connection with the breach at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. 52-year-old Stephen Capuccio. Good morning, everyone. It's a winter wonderland out there. It's just a beautiful sight to see. The unprecedented winter weather. Our city transformed into white. CPS Energy says it's under orders to begin rotating outages. What happened this week to our fellow Texans is absolutely unacceptable. Acceptable. The White House facing a surge in undocumented teens crossing the border. Federal officials today announcing the opening of a second emergency shelter for unaccompanied migrant children right here in San Antonio. An active shooter killed at the airport after San Antonio police say he was firing shots at random, aiming at an officer and at one of the terminals. People as young as 16 are eligible for the vaccines. The city of San Antonio began offering them this morning with no reservations needed. People say it's great to see life getting back to normal. Chicken on a stick! We are going to party tonight! He emerged from the home holding two large handguns, firing at us and an SUV with his own family inside. By my count, six times as we scattered in different directions. Shots fired 200 block Norium Street. I'm with News Media KSAT 12. We really saw no emotion for McCain for much of this trial. Oh, this is a live picture right there. You see McCain with an elbow to the bailiff. Making headlines this morning, 17 area school districts headed back to classroom today. Woo! New school and a new level of excitement as SEISD teachers and students fully return back to the classroom in person. A humanitarian emergency. Sky 12 capturing these images. More than 12,000 migrants crowded under the Del Rio International Bridge. High water has led to heartbreak in East Bear County. Two people believed to have died after being swept away by rushing water today. Embattled president and CEO Paula Gold Williams will resign next year. We are learning more information when it comes to the deadly drought racing event in Kerrville. The two people killed were children. Eight others were also injured. Came up across the crowd, hit the kids, hit the other people that were there. And our city has really been celebrating Dia de los Muertos all week long. The CDC's director now endorsing the recommendation for children 5 through 11 to get the vaccine. There is no reason to wait. Dr. Lumali Apache says the vaccine is safe. Are you excited? Can you feel it? We all right there with head coach Jeff Trailer as he gets his Gatorade bath tonight in the Alamodome. The UTSA Roadrunners are Conference USA champions for the first time.